So today we are talking about the colonial days and uh, at the time Clifford was in his uh, sister's place. So tell me. After the death of my mother in 1939 December, I was taken to my senior sister's house, we were, we, we, we were her husband's house. I was waiting with them. Then we were hearing about the war, the Hitler's war, and things were very difficult. Uh, there, are, uh, there was nothing that people can buy again that used to come from abroad. Like? Like uh, clothes or the things of like clothes or uh, hot drink, uh, the beer and everything, those things disappeared mainly. And then? And what you people, but people were eating local things, like cassava, yam and everything. So it didn't affect them locally with the food. But you mentioned salt. Uh, but salt is the problem. And it affected, why well, affected that the old men refused to eat without salt. And the 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 the, gov the government of the, the local government started supplying salt. They, they bring salt, and there was ration there in the villages, and the people go and get it, and the people managed with that. And then we had the people. Some people went out to war. It, there was no war in the local area, but they went to German to um, Boma, and with the people talked about Hitler's war in Boma and how they went and fought and come back and tell the story. But as a children, we were not very much concerned. It's only, only the people that we had, the older people that were interested. How many people did, did go to war? All, all the young, grown-up young men. But the one I, that I know very much is Ansel Aga from our family, the father of um, of um, Son de Aga, which mm. lived with us. Mm. He went to German and come back and brought many things, uh, like biscuit and people were going to his house eating. And he was telling them how the war went on. So they went to Boma? They went to Boma, Aga Hitler. Some, and, uh, but nobody some, died there, they all uh, came back. They came back and some, some we are recru recruited and they stopped in Gold Coast. So one stopped in Gold Coast, he didn't go to Obama. Oh. Gold Coast, that is now called Ghana. Yeah. So they collect young people, take them to Lagos, to Gold Coast. Of that time, West Africa, British West Africa, Gold Coast, Nigeria, uh, Sierra Leone, mm. uh, they mix almost together. So they went and came back, and then the only salt we know that time. And they, but, what, but that time, one thing that happened is that people oh, know that we are the, the British was in, in, in it was the reigning people, and we used to celebrate Empire Day. It was uh, May 24 every year. That is the only time we see white people. And the, all the children in primary school, we go and march and sing. Uh, God save the king. Well, and in the stadium? He, 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 no, in the, in the local council headquarters. All the students, we, all the primary schools, because there was no secondary school at that time. Yeah. And we were marching and singing, God save the king. So you went there with I, them? I, so I went to the other one of them, I went. And then, people, because it was very interesting, people were marching and the band will be beaten. And the white man will stand up, will raise his hand, People will be looking at him singing. That's the only thing I remember. Empire Day. Okay. Where people will praise British people and everything. Sing God Save the Queen. The King. The King. Yeah. And then when you went up north, mm -hmm. did you see any British there? Yeah, the British were there, but it's local. they just appear on, um, on the, Empire, on the Day. Empire Day. But we, all the administration, which we are not concerned, uh -huh. we are not locally, but they are always. D.O. A.D.O. We have D.O. District officer and assistant district officer. That's what we hear. So every every area we have administrative officer and district officer. So the local people we organize it, and then if there is a problem, if we go to D.O. Well, how did you know that the war had uh, stopped? Is it because people came back? People came back and there was celebration. 
Oh, there were celebrations. Yeah, there were celebrations. What, the what kind of celebration? Yeah. Rejoicing now, people marched uh, and then the the the, the oh, took uh, took salute. Okay. Mm. And then by the time you you went to uh, teacher training, at that time it was already independence. Yeah, it was. Uh, I went to uh, and it was not yet independent. I went to PTC yeah. in 1955. Mm. That time it's not yet independent. We were still going for empire there, and we are taking. I, it was when I was taking people were taking West African examination and the GCE for those who went to secondary school. But those who didn't go to secondary school, uh, we take a, a tuition fees and take London GCE ordinary level and A level. When did the secondary school start in your area? It was started long, but not everybody can go. No, Old but which one was the first? Do you know? DMGS, Dennis Memorial Grammar School, was there at the beginning. In Onisha. In Onisha. So people traveled there. There were and, and King's College, uh, Catholic school. And then down in the Delta, LLM, one near Portacourt, for girls. Uh -huh. So those who are uh, educated send their girls far away, many miles away. So they, at the end of that time, there was no college, mm. nothing. I think the first one was Okung, that was started in 1947. And later there was one um, in Oba. So. College was not in, in, always. And these colleges were um, boarding schools? Boarding schools. Yeah, you can, all the schools were boarding schools. Uh -huh. People travel and live there. You can't, because they, at home there is no electricity, yeah. no, you, have, you can't stay. So that was, uh, the, and there, for, if you want to be a teacher, you go to teacher training in order to teach in primary school. Mm. And that's the one I go, because I have no money for college. Yeah. I went to Peter Training, Pupo's Training College, Bosi, 1955. Mm. And after that, I was employed as a pri primary school teacher, sent to uh, Enugu, sent sent St. Bas, where I stayed. What, these are these are teacher training colleges and schools. Where there was electricity there. There was electricity, yes. Mm. Yeah, there was electricity. So constantly. Yeah, there was electricity there. Okay, and yeah. they are running water too. You go to the, uh, to the, the pump, uh, to the pump, and get water. Okay, you don't have water in the house. Yeah. You have it in the pump. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after so I, I after 1957 to 58, I went to ele elementary uh, elementary teacher training college yeah. at Newi that time uh -huh. Newi Central School. Became was promoted to elementary teacher okay. for training teacher that we teach in primary school. Uh -huh. the, but when you go there, you can teach up to uh, infant yeah. and the junior secondary. What and is infant? Infant, that is primary school. The whole of primary school? No, infant is uh, infant one and two, people of five and six years. Okay. Mm. That time, were there still older children that were joining? Oh, that's who they were. infants. Yeah, no. Okay. If you make 12 people 12 years, can still be an infant. Okay. And then, do you remember the, the independence? I remember the independence. That was 1966. I 60. was teaching. 60. 60, I was teaching. At what, uh, what happened? There were celebrations? There was celebration, independence, and we went to a, a, a march around the council, the local government and the, the, the district office and officers took salute. Do you know, do you feel that uh, there was a lot of difference between colonial days and uh, the first day of independence? In the, after, in, during independence, after the independence, we started hearing of the president, as you were, Babang, um, as a key were, Sadwana, only, no, no longer a D.O. and D.O. Uh -huh. So the, these people started talking. Okay. So during the so during the celebrations, they will take salute, not the British people. Okay. That's and the only difference. And then the, you saw the new uh, the new flag. Yeah, Nigeria. And then there was a song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we landed the national uh, anthem. National anthem. Nigeria, we held your word. Okay. Yeah, we landed every and everybody sang it. 
Okay. No more God save the king. Mm. That's the only major difference. At that time, was there television or radio? Uh, not for uh, not for us. There was uh, people who had a uh, radio who lived abroad. When they come home, or the gramophone in particular, uh -huh. they put music. All the villagers will come round, and then we be hearing it during the instead of during the evening. They will put the telephone, the the, my, the telephone, the gramophone, gramophone, and people will surround and hearing and rejoicing. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah.